I got to know Abby when she started volunteering for Planned Parenthood, and then we both eventually worked and then led opposing organizations. I didn't get involved thinking, you know, I'm, I'm going to help provide abortion services or anything like that. It really was under the guise of helping women. I never thought she was going to convert. I didn't foresee anything. It annoyed me that they were nice because, I mean, I remember driving up one time and my registration sticker was about to run out on my car. And this guy's like, oh, good morning, Abby. I just want to remind you, your registration's about to run out. And I'm like, stop. Poor Abby, when she walked into our office, I mean, she had like a 26-year-old that was going to help her. I wouldn't have known where to turn to. I wouldn't have known where to go. We have to humanize ourselves to the workers, that we're not lunatics and that we actually do care about them because the abortion industry doesn't. We call it choice. We call it reproductive rights. We call it reproductive justice. Abortion is child sacrifice. Prayer was not just a talking point, but, but an actual powerful tool to end abortion. It's the same demonic spirit of Molech that we see in the Old Testament. Don't give up. Keep going. Ignore as much of the noise and never apologize for your pro-life position. The Canadian babies have no voice but yours.